you've mentioned that it's possible that there's a lost civilization that existed in the Amazon. So it's carried a lot of names, Lost City of Z or El Dorado. Do you think it's possible it existed? Well, City of Z and El Dorado are in pretty different places. The one yes. El Dorado, the the ideas of where it is kind of center around towards Colombia. Okay. And the City of Z is named after a region of Brazil called the Xingu. Mm -hmm. And so those those are uh, a an America worth of distance apart. Mm -hmm. You know, the entire, people don't really think about it on the map, but uh, the entire United States would fit inside the Amazon. That's how big that place is. Yeah. And these two are on either end, but both of them have evidence of civilizations. These big, you know, it's, it's, it's lowland and it floods all the time. So what they did is they'd make these big mounds and then they'd make huge causeways between mounds so they could walk through their cities while they were seasonally inundated. Mm -hmm. And a bunch of that stuff has been found in the Shingu area, like huge areas that would support tens of thousands of people. Again, you know, it's not stone built and it's been under the forest forever. So it's very torn up, but it's there now. You know, Brazil is big on uh, cattle farming more than ever now. And a, a thing that I think is completed now is Brazil and Bolivia partnered together and built a highway mm -hmm. all the way across and opened up a whole bunch more land, which has found a more of these, what we call like uh, geometric earthworks. So there's more and more evidence of these civilizations. It's not a, it's not a could be there. It's there for sure. By the way, the people who are trying to protect the rainforest really hate the highway. One of the things I learned is if you build a road, uh, loggers will come. <laughs> yep. And they will start cutting stuff down. Now, from an archaeology perspective, if you cut down trees, you get to discover things. But from a sort of protect a very precious rainforest perspective, it's obviously the opposite way. But it, it is interesting. I've seen where loggers cut through the forest and then they, uh, and when they leave, the forest heals itself very so quickly. Quick. So quickly. And, you know, you just think that across decades, you, you expand that to centuries and it's like, you could see how a civilization could be completely swallowed up by the rainforest. And it happened for sure in the Amazon. Yeah. You know, there. One of the ways that we're trying to push the frontier of where people were in the Amazon, because yes, the uh, the trees and just the biomass have eaten so much evidence, but they're finding more and more of these places that they call uh, terra preta, which is black earth, and they're huge swaths of it. So uh, I guess the anthropology term is anthropogenic landscapes. Mm -hmm. And what they're saying is that that really dark earth couldn't have just got that way through natural forest processes. That mm -hmm. sometime in the distant past, that forest wasn't there and there was major farming and human activity to the point where they totally turned the soil black and it's much more enriched. And uh, when, I, uh, when I took a trip into the Amazon, I, took, I went from Manaus up the river, the Black River, a couple of days, and went and met some different communities. And I asked them about this Black Earth. And they were like, yeah, that's why we're here. Sometimes we move our village, but when we move, we look for the Terra Preta. And that's where we're going to put our village, because that's a place that all of our gardens work. The other places, they don't. One of the things you talked about, literally just asked, you have to ask the right question. And uh, the stories, all the all the secrets are carried by the people, and they will tell you. Yeah, there's so many of them. You know, the, the thing that excites the world about archaeology right now is Gobekli Tepe, and this you know ten thousand now Karan Tepe is eleven thousand. The whole area is called the Tas Tepler. We only found it a couple of decades ago, but it was just uh, you know a archaeologist roaming through the area and ask a sheep herder, "Hey, you know, you guys know where anything ancient is? Oh yeah." Let me let me show you this, and then all of a sudden we've got a lost civilization, and the and the shepherds always knew where it was, just nobody asked them. 